there's just too much fire, too much deals coming across in what? Mega packs, right? Today's video, we're going to go over a conversation that actually most people don't have about the energy department, not about FSD and not about EVs, but the energy. Now let's check out this article. And then also I'm going to show you guys what a mega pack actually looks like. I'm not sure if you guys even know. Now, what is this article? We got another deal. Tesla gets a 133 million mega pack deal to double Queensland's battery size. Now, a contract will oversee an expansion recently finished in Western Downs Battery in Queensland, Australia. Australia loves us, man. Australia is actually been getting a lot of deals. Like, shout outs to Australia, right? In total, Tesla will provide 140 mega pack units for the project, expected to be valued about around 133 million. And while developers expect the second stage of the project to be operational by 2026. Now, that's Australia. That's one project right there, right? And we got another deal. And again, a lot of times people are not even connected to these deals, right? Like people don't even know this happens. So I like to track the mega pack deals all the time. Tesla, mega packs will power France's new largest battery system. And now we have another deal. Now, this deal is not as much as the last one, but it's very important. It's going to be a 480 megawatt an hour project, and it will perform the functions of energy landscape, optimizing the use of a decarbonized electricity, providing critical capacity during peak hour demand periods, and enhancing grid stability with near instantaneous response capabilities. The battery will have the capacity to store approximately 20% of the residential electricity needs in that department which is home to over half a million, 500,000 residents. And that would be around 123 Tesla mega packs in France, guys. So one deal was in Australia. The next deal is in France, right? Now, what is the mega pack and what does it look like? Well, you can go right to the set website, right? So we got one that was 140 and another one was about 120. So that's 260 mega packs, right? 200... So that's almost around, oh, around $250 million, $250 million. That's a lot of dough, right? Now, here we go, $250 million. And then we divide that by about 30% or times that. Let me see. Let me go down and bring up the next one where, what is the operation margins on this bad boy, right? Let's check it out right here. All right. So of course, with scale... Tesla's energy division reported a record gross margin of about 30%. But if we look to the first quarter, the profit margin was about 24%. Now, 24% is not that bad, guys, right? That's actually pretty good. And that's without scale. So let's not get ahead of ourselves and start making fun, acting like it ain't nothing, right? Once we get the scale in, we'll be really killing. So that's about 60 million, 60 million in profit just for that just for those two deals, Australia and France. And then that's 24%, almost 25, almost 25. But that's just without scaling. This is just with the factory in California, not the one in Shanghai. Once the one in Shanghai starts to scale, it's going to get very ridiculous because it has a higher profit margin. Right? And it's very interesting. Guys, it's a landslide. Like nobody's actually diving deep and trying to find these deals. And if you're looking at it, Delivery date is estimated, and you can't get one to third quarter of 2025. That's almost a little bit of a year out, right? Because we're backed up. We're backed up with the mega packs, and then we're still waiting for the factory and the facility in Shanghai to be built out. And allegedly, at the end of December, it should be done. Now, that would be amazing. But you guys always hear me on this channel talk about Elon being a genius. Let somebody else take it for a change. I think to sort of make Elon wear that entire burden of responsibility is a, is a bit preposterous. Do you think... I, I mean, let's be clear. He is, he is truly one of the great entrepreneurs of our lifetime. I mean, no ifs, no ands, no buts. He runs Tesla. He runs SpaceX at a level of, of excellence that very few companies can even start to relate to. And I think that his willingness to, to be in this role that involves such a commitment of his time in public service is something that I applaud and admire. Will he be successful? That's really hard to tell at this point in time because as you and I both know, he's gonna have to hit the hard reality, the hard truth that making cuts of any form whatsoever will be politically very unpopular. Now he's talking about 
you know, Elon leading Doge and trying to make cuts to the government. But, you know, fortunately, he won't have to do it. He'll just give recommendations to the president, but, you know, still going to hate him. Now, as you can see right here, the construction of Tesla's new mega factory project in Shanghai, right? 45% complete. And I think this video was uploaded a while back. We're going to give that a like, and it's going to be very important. Are they speaking English? No, they ain't speaking no goddamn English. Now, Tesla's vice president, which is a female Asian, looks very amazing. So if she wants to get married, tell her I'm a bachelor and available and currently in the market. The construction of Tesla's mega factory factory is about 45% complete. Now we keep moving in. Look at that factory. The Chinese are very fast. Now, it's Tesla's first energy storage mega factory project outside of the U.S. market. And to be quite honest, <laughs> the one we have in Lathorpe, California, Man, that joint is just new. Like, we just made that not even a year ago, right? And it wasn't built from the ground up. It was an outrofit, or we refitted it and reconstructed it from a Sears facility. So <laughs> a distribution center, I believe. So this groundbreaking change is very interesting, man. I can't wait to see the progress. And China's always doing their thing. They're putting it down. Now, let's talk about this, too. Shout out to the big homie, uh, Chad Griffin. But I always tell you guys what, that the battery packs are also going to be useful for data centers, right? And Kevin O'Leary is building the world's largest data center. And, you know, he's going to need some energy. Energy coming from who? That's right, Tesla. Man, Elon for the win. Elon for the win. Put some respect on the guy's name. Let's hear what he's talking about. Today that Kevin O'Leary is planning on building the largest data center in the world. There's a valley. A valley where technology and nature will come together in perfect harmony. Consistent with his brand, it will be called Wonder Valley. And what's particularly interesting is where it will be located. As of right now, the largest concentration of data centers is in Virginia. And the U.S. as a whole has over 5,000 data centers. But this one will be in Canada. Whoa, data put some respect on the name. 5,381 data centers. Sounds like all customers for actual Tesla's mega pack, but net net, look how everybody else is so far behind the race. And we always hear that we don't have the infrastructure. This is why I was recently telling somebody like when it comes down to competition and AI, it's like, we're killing it. We're crushing it. You know, China's doing this thing. Don't get me wrong, but they don't even have data centers. Like, come on, you gotta be for real. Like you gotta be joking. The centers, but this one will be in Canada. And we can zoom in further into Northwest Alberta to an area called the Municipal District of Greenview, which is about four hours from Edmonton. The area will be called the Greenview Industrial Gateway, which O'Leary said is the most compelling site in all of North America. I hadn't even heard of this site until today, but thanks to my neighborhood t-shirt lady, I recently had a shirt made showing that I'm now a big fan of the Greenview Industrial Gateway. Less so for Kevin O'Leary, but maybe he'll grow on me. Now a few notes. I believe that this is purely speculative at the moment. They've made this fancy video and put out a press release, but at this point, they've only signed a letter of intent. But here's what we know so far based on the press release and the area in general. It'll be built in phases with a total investment equaling $70 billion when fully completed. And just a quick note here, it wasn't that long ago in the Back to the Future movie when Doc used 1.21 gigawatts as a crazy amount of power, almost unheard of, inconceivable at the time. And now we're tossing around gigawatts to power data centers like it's nothing. This one at 7.5 gigawatts is a crazy amount of power. And the press release noted that this will be off-grid natural gas and geothermal powered, so it'll be independent of the normal grid. There are about 8,000 people that live in this area, which is very little once you factor in how much land it is. So there's not a whole lot currently in the area, with the nearest landmark in the area being the Ooh, that's going to be a lot of power, man. So again, I said this many times, how important it is, right? To have these mega packs to provide energy, right? To provide energy for these data centers. Now, if we go up, I mean, this was a, a post that I did a while ago when I was talking about these data centers, right? Like Tesla's data center at Gigafactory and us having the actual mega packs to power these individual facilities is very important. So again, while we're constructing our own data centers in Gigafactory, I mean, we're definitely using the same technology, right? To power the data centers, which is the mega pack. So mega packs are going to be fundamentally important going forward for the future. It's going to be important for AI and AI is going to change the game. Tesla's 
right? Tesla's Mega Pack, a game changer for data centers, energy demands, and the age of AI. The rapid advancement of artificial intelligence has created an unprecedented demand on data centers, which power not only the AI models, but also the vast data sets and computations behind them. And with this surge in energy requirements, a critical question has emerged. How can we effectively, sustainably, and cost-effectively meet the power needs of other data centers? One solution gaining momentum is Tesla's Megapack, an energy storage system designed to support large-scale power applications. As the data centers evolve to meet AI's growing needs, the Tesla's Megapack offers a transformative approach to addressing their energy demands. And most people are only focused on NVIDIA because the stock's going up. Not even because NVIDIA is a great company. They don't even know nothing about the company. They just see the uh, you know, stock going up, and then they just run up and down and go a little bit crazy. Like, oh, my gosh, look at this, right? And you guys have been running around talking about Bitcoin being up uh, whatever percentage, right? And then here goes NVIDIA. I think it was 29,000% through his whole history, and then NVIDIA sitting around 350,000% in his whole history. So you guys are, like, excited, and they're like, oh, my gosh. There's no growth like this compared to anywhere else. It's like, bro, you guys just don't know nothing about investing. That's all. Because I can show you a bunch of uh, companies that have way more growth, right? How can Bitcoin be more when the market's only capped at 2.5 trillion and the video's at 3.4 trillion? Like, how? 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 It makes no sense. The math is not mathing. So, again, mega packs are going to be the wave for the future. They're going to be a solution not only just for the needs of a nation, a county, but also for data centers across the world. And we got the most data centers, so also put some respect on our name. United States of America for the win, and shout outs to Elon. Enough of this. Everyone hates Tesla for a reason, but I'm gonna start calling it treason. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Hit that notification bell so you can get this hot ether each and every day. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie.